Good evening. Hi, everyone. What y'all doing? So, we're here today to talk about a commercial that we saw. Good old, they had the best intentions. That's I don't know if they had the best intentions, but we're going to talk to you today about Zed Pepsi. Zed Pepsi Cola, the <laughs> Pepsi. That we They're know, trying to bridge the gap. That we used to know and love. They wanted to unite the people. Tell them the synopsis of the commercial, dear. Uh, from what I from what I could tell, it looked like some some sort of a riot or a protest. Um, they had some cops there that looked rather indifferent, and then uh, a Kardashian popped up out of nowhere with an ice cold Pepsi and gave it to one of the officers and all of a sudden his refreshment refreshed everyone else in the area and then a Middle Eastern lady was taking a picture with a hijab. Now, Brian is sitting there talking to me about this story, right? This is commercial. I don't And fully this understand. commercial, Brian has been fixated on the hijabed uh, woman. Because it was so placed. They took a picture. It was so placed. Now, mind you, I saw the commercial and I sat there and I thought to myself, okay, you know, they're in, I think it was New York. They're in New York. It looked like, it looked like Times Square. And they're, you know, protesting. Now, when they're protesting, it looked like a protest party. It looked like everyone was there. They were just kind of like how culture and society, a lot of people to come to the protest do. They're there for pictures. It looked like a block party. It's like a block party, a concert, the downtime of a concert. And the police were there holding them from the stage. So the police that were there didn't look like police officers. It looked like they had hats on that were like baseball hats. So like they were on a hot day and they were just security. Just there for show. They, they looked like top flight security. Let's let's let that be clear. It's like, like their day off or something. Yeah, they they're the, not worried about it. They nothing. weren't worried about it. Then you know, it's just that the, if you haven't seen the commercial, it you know we'll show it to y'all um, in the middle here or in the end so you can see it. Now what the deal is is that I feel like like Brian said, looks like they might have tried it to have the best intention, but you really the, this day and age with the offenses that people, the super offended and the, the, the super sensitive issues that are going on right now, you really have to be more careful about how you're marketing. But. Not that we are, you know, marketators or marketeers. My thing is, even if, even, even if they have the best intentions, how was that commercial, that way supposed to help anybody other than Pepsi sell Pepsis? Because. The thing is, this is what they should have did. This is what it they should have done. I, I understand what they were going with. I imagine them in the in the room, in the marketing room, and their presentation. Those are like, the worst. Though. They're like, "Hey, you guys, I got it. 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 You know what's going on these days. You know, Pepsi unites. So think about it like this: You're at a protest, right? You're at a protest, and you're at the protest, and you know someone, you know someone is there, and they're like, "Man, this really sucks. I really want to unite." You know, like people on Facebook that are give away free hugs to the cops and stuff. Instead of a free hug, they're giving away a free Pepsi. How about a free Pepsi? Oh, Pepsi unites. That's what we want to do. But alas, that uh, message. And then the, the other sane one in the in the room is like, how does how does this all go together? How does Pepsi go together with a protest or a riot? Like, they both start with P. Come on, George, you're so <laughs> negative. That's what happens. Somebody said, George, you're negative. You don't know what people want. You don't know. And then this is my thing. They should hire a black representative. This is what, or someone that is a cultural representative that will sit there and say, hmm, this isn't gonna go. Do they even do testers for the commercials? No, it's just do they do a test? This is what happens when a you have a trial. A, a room full of yes men. And you know, the boss throws out this idea and the yes men are like, Wow, that's really dumb, but you're the boss. But this is the thing. Let's the commercial could have worked. The commercial could have worked if they left out the idea of a Dashian, fortunately. It's she, bless her heart. I feel like they were in the room and they were like, oh, you know, we got to get us somebody that's, somebody hip, somebody urban, somebody that's cool, that can go down there and give it to the police officer. Something, you know, something that's really going to unite. I know what, a Dashian. Get a Dashian. Get a Kardashian girl. Which one? Chloe? No. Not Chloe. Kim? Oh no. She would never do it. No. Get one of the girls. 
the Kylie. Which one is that one? The one, the one with the butt implants? No, the one without the butt implants. Yes, her. She looks normal. And then, and then put her in something urban. And then top it all off with the, the Middle Eastern uh, photographer? Yeah, they had the first off, let's say the good things that were going on with Pepsi. They had a multicultural crowd. The crowd was multicultural. Oh, Pepsi okay. multicultural, that's a game. Okay, you know, we have the police there, the people there. We want to unite them. Great idea. That's a bing. That's a, a good idea, number two. Where it went south was making Pepsi the catalyst when she was like, hey everybody, I know we're out here having a party protest and the police are there not looking like they're having fun. So let's have a peaceful party protest and give them a Pepsi. That's where it went wrong. What should they have done different? He should have smacked the Pepsi out her hand. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Pepsi and check. arrested her. No. Oh my god. But um, I feel like if they didn't have to force the idea of Pepsi so much, like you know, when they first showed uh, Chloe or Kylie, Kylie, Kylie. They, when, they, when they first showed Kylie, it could have been Joe Schmo in the back with a Pepsi, you know. And as she's walking by, he's standing there with the Pepsi. We get it. Ooh, Pepsi commercial. All makes sense. And then she goes and tells him, "Hey man, we're not trying to start a riot." Or whatever she says, I don't, I don't know. That came up. With this is what the best commercial should have been. Like Brian is saying, you have the two sides. Just don't make the party protest. Don't make it look like a party. The protest is not to be a party. It was just all so. You're making place. it a party. This is what you do. You would have the same space. You would have the multicultural crowd marching, the Pepsi people standing there. You know, I mean, the the police people standing there looking. Like real policemen, not like top flight security. Hello. I mean, what the heck was that? Then have the people in the crowd, multicultural, looking like they're like, this is serious business. This is serious. Then have, if you want to have Kylie, say we're still using Kylie. The budget's here. We already signed a contract. Fine. Kylie's there. Have Kylie, after everyone is in a standstill, the police are silent, the people are silent, the big crowd. Kylie, in a less urban jean outfit. What was that jean outfit? Get her something that looks normal, like a normal girl next door. Some jeans, mom jeans, something. Then looking less glam, have her run through the crowd, breaking through everybody, and then run to the front, see the police officer, run towards him, and give him a hug. There's unity. Then someone in the background is like, or one love somebody coming out one love in the silence and they're like yeah break and the then silence we finish it off with the middle eastern girl <laughs> taking pictures i don't know why brian is like fixated on her, her because it was train. also place it was also place like what where did where did this come from she just was there to take a picture and then she's a photographer Everything was so placed. It was just... They went out of their way to put her in there. It was really forced. Like, they really what, what did the, What did somebody taking a picture of the commercial have anything to do with the commercial? Nothing at all. But it was just so the same forced. way it had nothing to do with him getting his Pepsi. They just, just keep doing it, you know. Unfortunately, it was the most forced commercial. And people are in an uproar about it. People are so upset. Or they're being very sarcastic and stark like... Why? Oh yeah, so I guess Carly and Pepsi s saves everything, huh? It saves us all from our own uh, stereotypes and prejudice and police brutality. No. I understand where you were trying to go, Pepsi. But you know what? You need to hire a couple. Maybe a couple that uh, Look, has a little something you to do, help you with. What you do now is we, you just a eat B that are loss. Here. A and B are Pepsi here. just pulled the commercial uh, they, pull put, it. they put so much money in. I don't know if I know pull this commercial. You got to eat that loss. Just I pull don't it. No. Uh, get rid of that whole commercial and then start over. Or with us, hire better us. yet, we don't do waste it. any more money on that type of commercial. Just do a regular Pepsi commercial. What? What's a regular Pepsi commercial? All the other ones where it just pops up with a truck. Because the people were saying this. People were saying this like Beyonce endorses Pepsi. 
you know, Pepsi, you know, y'all ain't gonna leave uh, Pepsi because Beyonce endorsed Pepsi. My thing is, people are ignorant. They don't know how to make a really great grand commercial anymore. I guess this new age is a little tough to gauge. So you don't know what's gonna set people off. But you need to get people in your team First that are gonna... All, ain't nobody ever drunk no Pepsi because Beyonce was dancing around in a commercial. Nobody cares. You know what they need to do? They no, need to hire. Nobody cares. They need to hire meme writers. All these secret memers. <laughs> hey, memers. The, hire memers. The memers control so that the internet. Man. The memers, the, the the undefeated memers. You need to hire them Pepsi so that you can say, hmm, what would the memer do for this? And if they're like, I got nothing, then you probably good. If they ain't got nothing and or if what all they got is is fun funny stuff, rather than tear you down, shoot your label, your your credibility. Then you're fine. Hire memers or hire A and B conversations. We are here. We'll take the job. We'll we'll see you in. We'll you know. see you right in. All right, y'all. What did y'all when you seen the video? What did you think? Like when you watched it, where were you at? One last thing. I need you to like, like, comment, comment, share, share. God. Subscribe. Subscribe. Click a button. Click the you button. Know, just. I mean, click the at, you're already scrolling through. Just go ahead and just like click the buttons. Just that's share, all. And then swipe. It's some not more. hard. Share. Click swipe. It. It's easy. Click it. And that's all. And we are gonna see you next time. We have some stuff coming up for you guys. People have been asking and we be busy and we do stuff and you know, no. putting out the right stuff at the right time. We're married well, without kids, you know. Yeah, we, gotta, we, we have things. We live we, a good life. We, there's you know? things we get into. You know, God is good. So God is awesome. But we know, have but some we'll keep serious the stuff rolling. coming for you guys. And so stay tuned. Bye.